PennsPeakRadio.com. Guys, we have Wayne Nelson on board here with us. Little River Band. I'm sure that brings up some great memories. I know it does for me, and I'll get up close and personal with Wayne on uh, the first date that I had uh, with uh, the woman that I'm currently with, which that's amazing in itself. But Wayne uh, Wayne Nelson of the uh, famed Australian rock band, Little River Band. Wayne, how are you? I'm great. Thanks for having me on the air. Oh, my gosh. It's uh, awesome. Uh, first of all, Little River Band, synonymous with dates. You know, and women and uh, guys and uh, knowing that guys, uh, if they take their lady to a Little River Band concert, chances are uh, it'll end up a really nice evening for the guy. So how has the Little River Band been doing? We've been doing great. And um, we're starting to hear that story more and more. Uh, you know, um, as a matter of fact, interesting, I'll, I'll tell you a story, probably one of the songs that, um, you know, has been, shall we say, helpful two mm-hmm. gentlemen on a date, would be the song Lady. Right. Um, and there was a time in the band when, you know, people weren't getting along, and we actually came to America and toured for maybe three or four years and didn't have Lady in the set. Finally, one day, I just said, look, this is crazy, but um, people come up to us all the time with that with that same story. You know, ladies love the song because they love hearing it being sung to them, but guys love it because ladies love it. And we're kind of the band that no one will admit they like, you know what I mean? We get we get a lot of flack on, uh, yeah. uh, you know, from Will Ferrell and, and TV shows and stuff like that about, you know, we're the band that nobody will admit to liking, <laughs> but everybody's got the greatest hit CD and everybody knows the words. <laughs> <laughs> that is, I mean, and that is so true. That is so true. Uh, it was, yep. uh, it was, a uh, it was a date night that we had, uh, wow, probably about, uh, probably about seven, eight years ago when it was here at the peak. When you guys were here, it was the first concert uh, that I brought um, that I brought Michelle to, and um, and, it's, and that is ongoing. That's good to hear. Yeah, it is ongoing. Not not bad. I mean, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm. I don't know. I'm. I'm getting to the end of my... I mean, I'm, I've been through three, so, like, I'm getting... I'm probably going to trade her in for a younger model coming up here, but I'll have... I'll, I'll, I don't know. I'll I don't know. <laughs> I'll just not listen. <laughs> yeah, well... <laughs> so, uh, Wayne Nelson, born in Kansas City, Missouri, and uh, end up with the Australian rock band uh, LRB. How did that happen? The band, um, you know, had... Was, uh, immediately after recording their first record, they started changing personnel. And um, uh, they had, in the first four years of the band's existence, in the studio and on tour, I think they used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bass players. Wow. None of them sang. None of them sang. um, uh, But, you know, all competent players. But none of them sang. The band was based in Australia. And finding somebody that was of the the temperament to tour and, and... you know, tour the world, and, and and also somebody that sang the kind of vocals that Little River Band, you know, has. Um, they couldn't find anybody in Australia, and I was working with Jim Messina's band mm-hmm. um, in 1979. We opened for Little River Band for two weeks, and little did I know that they were basically auditioning me the whole time because we were playing a very complex kind of. Uh, Tex-Mex rhythms with vocals over the top of it. Uh-huh. So they were just standing on the side of the stage going, I think there's our guy. So we got to the end of the, that two-week tour, and here comes Little River Band asking me to join, and that's basically how it happened. That I is... was in the, very much in the right place at the right time. Yeah. It, you know, this this business, you need some luck along with, with all the other stuff, and I, and I certainly had it then. Absolutely, and, uh, you know, what a great interview this is, too. I mean, you're um, so in tune with everything going on here, man. It's a great interview. I, I uh, you know, I, I still see you on uh, some of the videos and uh, uh, hear, uh, as you still do with uh, the lead uh, vocals of uh, a song that brings back a lot of great memories for me going back uh, into the 80s and uh, back into college times uh, with uh, the Night Owls. Um, absolutely, uh, you know, you're, and your voice is still true to date, uh, Wayne. I mean, it's still... It's it's still where it needs to be, which is amazing. I mean, you guys haven't you guys haven't lost anything, man. It's incredible. Well, I mean, first of all, again, luck luck plays a big part. Knock on wood. Um, uh, you know, the voice is is, is holding up, um, and in some ways, getting stronger. And you know that that goes for all of us. But um, yeah, Night Owls was a, was a was a life changer. I mean, at, right after meeting them, mm-hmm. we go into rehearsal. 
rehearsals and I find out about all this uh, friction within the band and static and stuff and lead singer doesn't show up for rehearsals and here comes Night Owls into the, into the room because, and I find out later the guy wrote it for me to sing, but um, here, sing this until the lead singer gets here and by the time he got there it was my song and that was, um, you know, first thing out of the box. It's the first time I ever sang lead ever in a studio and it goes, you know, top five, uh, number one in some markets. Oh, yeah. It was. It was. Uh, it was. A, it was a game changer for me. That's for sure. And we do not take this lightly or take it for granted. I mean, who gets thirty two, thirty five years in a band is a, that that becomes a career? So I'm taking care of myself, and and um, I look at it as a blessing every single night. What's new? What's new for Little River Band? What's going on with Wayne Nelson and and the guys with LRB? What can people look forward to coming up? What's going on with you guys? In the last. Three weeks, and I'm not just saying that because we're talking today, and, and this is a great interview, and Penn Speak's a great venue. The, the, one one thing that you said too, when the crowd gets to Penn Speak, that venue is so unique and so cool, and because it's all wooden, that place just starts vibrating with music in there. So if anybody hasn't gone up there to see a show, yeah. we I would love for you to be to come to see Little River Band first. But I'm telling you, the LRB crowd and, and those hits and that building, man, it's just it's a magic combination. But in the last three to four weeks, I, I kid you not, <clears throat> we've got a new offer to do new music for Little River Band. That hasn't happened for almost a decade. We, we'll have a new CD out next year. It's very exciting. We have a Christmas CD that we did on our own steam a couple of years ago, but never got anybody to pick it up. That's been picked up and being released this year. Yeah, it, as a matter of fact, October 14, it's coming out. And we just found out we're doing a whole bunch of touring in, in December that was not there four weeks ago. And we got a tour that came into New Zealand. So suddenly we are going international. We're going to have worldwide two worldwide releases in the next six months. It's um, a very amazing time for the band right now. Very excited about starting to talk about it and starting to pull things together to write new songs and, you know, keep this legacy going. This, the music keeps relating to people. The shows are great, and it's it's just a really good time for us. One thing I do like to ask when I have uh, you guys on here, because people like the, the candid, even though we gave a little bit of a candid upfront uh, kind of bit that we did in the beginning of this interview, what's a memorable moment for you guys on stage? What's a memorable moment when you get done off stage and um, you know you get women like um, throwing uh, things at the bus saying please take me on the bus I'll go with you on the road I mean uh, what's a what's a <laughs> what's a memorable moment for uh, at the uh, LRB gosh after after 32 years and you know, <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot I know there, there are there, there are it's kind of overload when you when you want to kind of narrow one down. Right. And I can tell you one that stands out to me, my first big show with the band, and it was on my 30th birthday. This is the first time we've come out of a pub, we're done, you know, with the, you know, the grunt work, and we're ready to play in front of a big crowd. 130,000 people Jeez. in Munich, Germany, at Olympic Stadium. Okay. And we're on the bill with Fleetwood Mac, Bob Marley, a young girl at the time called Nina, who had 99 lost balloons, that, that pop song. Um, <laughs> big and, and heart. Big, big, um, you know, big list of, of people. And it was freezing cold, pouring down rain all day long. People were, you know, hanging in there waiting to see the bands. We walked on stage. The clouds parted. The sun came out. And for 61 minutes... While we were doing our set, it was like <laughs> beautiful springtime in Germany, and people went completely berserk. And I mean, yeah, throwing things. There were body parts that should have been kept covered. But, but, I mean, it was just it was just a melee, and it was but it was a melee of great spirit. You know, what I mean, it was like the sun was out. It was springtime, whatever. We got done, and I swear to God, within three minutes, the clouds sealed back up, and it started raining again for Bob Marley's set. <laughs> and I just went, man, these these guys are in touch with somebody. I need, to, I need to stick around here. It was a very cool moment. I mean, and all that to say, that was a big, huge crowd that was anonymous. But I got to tell you, you know, when we play in front of a, a bunch of people that are into it and we're trading energy with them, mm -hmm. every night becomes the new night. You know what I mean? It's right. like we got people crying, we got people laughing, dancing, singing. It, it's just, um, it's just a great, great night of memories and and music and whatever. So those memories just keep piling on. They just keep adding up over the years. Absolutely cool. I, I mean, and I, I am, be, and I would be very, I would be very 
remiss if I didn't also mention that one of the most special nights was we played a show in Nashville uh, that was an industry night, which are notoriously boring. And out of nowhere, this woman comes forward into the in, in the crowd and kind of puts her arms up going, what are you doing, Nashville? This is it's a little river band. You're all sitting around on your hands. And literally kind of turned the night around because people came up to meet her and started whatever. She's my wife now. She's we've been married for 11 years. So <laughs> I can't leave that out of the... That's a very special night. <laughs> uh, that is awesome. I'll tell you what. This was uh, this was a real pleasure. You know, I have uh, this lady as as well. If I can just, you know, Wayne Nelson of the Little River Band, which is her favorite group. If I could have um, her country singer guy is Gary Allen. I don't know if you've ever ran into him on the on the, oh, on the street. Yeah, I haven't run into him, but love him. He's great. Yeah, great. that that's great that's her country guy. As far as you guys, uh, LRB, you are her band. It's like maybe you could say something really nice say hey michelle doc really is a really good guy and uh, maybe maybe you can rub his back tonight could you say anything like that for her <laughs> and just anything wayne I just will. anything to help me out I from from a guy to a guy just i mean you could say it even now right on this interview i will do it michelle this is wayne nelson from little river band um in my conversation with doc i found out that he's a really genuinely nice guy a lot of passion <laughs> for music and uh He's got a special place in his heart for you. He's asked me to request the deluxe back rub this evening after the party's <laughs> over with. I don't know what that involves, but that's what he wants. Oh, my goodness. You know what? If you can't have fun, you know, uh, my uh, you just just don't get up. That's that's what I live by. Yes. And and I'll tell you, you know, <laughs> the beauty. it is. I know if you can't have fun, don't get up. Maybe that might be another. Maybe that might be a song on, on maybe a, a new CD. I'm right, Matt. I'm writing that down right now. <laughs> we better keep uh, keep in touch with each other because I might have used royalties. Uh, no, no, I'd let the hell. Don't get up. If you can't have fun, beauty. If you don't, if you can't have fun, don't get up. And uh, it, it would. Uh, it's definitely uh, something I live by for uh, 30 years in radio. But uh, this has been an absolutely, absolutely incredible interview. The, the things that I've read about you in the past, even doing radio a long, long time, and here I am at Penn Speak Radio, getting a chance to uh, getting a chance to talk to you. Uh, the memories that that your band brings back for me uh even college buddies when we when i think of the night owl song and that just that's one in particular i uh, i can't thank you enough i wish you all the success with the entire band man i really do and uh, we can't wait to see you here in the next couple of weeks right here at penn's peak well thank you very much and it's been great talking to you too and by the way please please come back after this great conversation please come back and say hello because it's always great to be able to put a face with the name and the and, and, and link the whole thing up so come say hello uh, I, I'd love to uh, say hi and uh, we'll see you when uh, when you get here to the peak um, Wayne thank you um, so very much yeah, absolutely my pleasure man it's great to talk to you Penspeakradio.com.